Hey there everybody, Eric from Outer Limitless coming at you today with another video. Now in today's video, a field use and practical application video covering the Work Tough Gear Asset. This knife is freaking awesome. I love this knife for many reasons. First off, a wonderful design by Shannon Hamilton, who is the designer of the Wilderness Warrior. So another knife that we've covered here on the channel. Both great options. I do like them both, but this asset absolutely calling my name, screaming performance, and just an awesome belt knife, awesome field knife, and just a fantastic offering in the Work Tough gear lineup. So what we're going to do today, we're going to take a look at this in detail in the outdoor environment. I did cover this in a preliminary unboxing, first look and impressions video. So if you want to see all the details, look back at one of my prior videos. But today it's all about that field use. So with that said, I have a whole bunch to do and a whole bunch to share with you. And if you're interested in seeing a little bit more about what I'm about to get into, do me a favor, stay tuned. Now, before we get too far, I would like to say thank you very much to the people at Work Tough Gear who did provide this for review. And I'd also like to remind you that I currently have a gear giveaway. I'm trying to give away all of my gear, but there's only one way for you to take advantage of that. That's to take a look at the description box below for more details.
pops. Ooh, there's the pops. Okay.
Right, guys now back from the field use with the asset awesome 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 I love this knife for so many reasons now why do I go to the backyard testing bottom line is this I mean I love having backyard fires so whenever I get the chance I'm gonna go out and I'm gonna play with a knife and when it's a work tough knife it's just an awesome day I love being out there great weather get a little fire hang out with the dogs just get some carving and have some fun. I mean, that's kind of what it's all about with these knives. But the other thing is the backyard environment really does put this on the average test with a lot of other blades. So when I have a controlled environment, I can test my gear. I know how things should react. And what I am going to say is this asset performing phenomenally well. Very, very good in the carving department. Now, a couple of things. One is I do prefer this knife with the full hammer grip. 
there are a couple of ways that I do tend to carve. And I find that lately I've been going more to that full hammer grip, especially when I'm trying to hog out the wood. You can see that with the thumb over the top, it did kind of dig in a little bit. Now, I'm not going to say it caused any true damage or hot spots, but I do think over time that would definitely wear on you. And it's not that it's overly aggressive jimping, but it's just got a ramp. It's all chamfered over, which does make it just a little less surface area. And it's fairly large and fairly aggressive. It's not totally sharp, but it's a little bit squared off. So after a while and after pressing, you are going to print and even within a mere matter of seconds, you can see it's starting to leave some marks. Again, not a big deal. It's just something worth noting. So if you had gloves, that would work out very well. But I did find that the edge geometry on this is fantastic. Really, really good. Easy to find that edge. Easy to just get in, do those slicing tasks, find feathers and everything that you need to know. When it came to the stabbing, man, this thing can stab. I stabbed straight down through the wood, through my bearing block, and down into the concrete blocks in my patio area. And maybe just a little bit of a tick on the edge, and I can feel it just a little bit with my nail. But considering I basically stabbed down through everything and stabbed into the concrete, holding up. Very well, no problem. The SK85 worked tough, always doing a fantastic, just awesome job with the heat treat, the quality of the steel, and the overall fit and finish on this knife is awesome. I love the handle. I love how Work Tough Gear has been doing this. Just really grippy, yet at the same time, doesn't tear up your hands. Everything softened in the right spots, and just a comfortable and balanced knife. Now, it's going to be a tiny bit, uh, I would say, handle heavy just the slightest tiniest little bit just a touch but pretty much for the most part i would call this neutrally balanced on the average very comfortable in the hand easy to maneuver and it's a small enough knife yet a large enough knife that it really sits in an awesome awesome sweet spot i could see people really loving this. And at the time of this video, there are some available. So for all the people that complain that they can't get work tough knives and they're always sold out, there are some left. So at the time of this video, go get an asset. And that way you have an asset in your hands. Don't complain. Now, a couple things that I don't use a ton are the non-lethal pommel. That's probably a lethal pommel. That thing's got a big, sharp point on it. I mean, man, would that absolutely crack. I use it just for a little bit of crushing on some tinder and things like that. Pretty straightforward, but all in all, what a kick-ass blade. Keep it around the kitchen, do your basic tasks, use it as, you know, a glorified steak knife. I know I'm absolutely going to. So I love the food prep application with knives like this as well. Just an awesome do-it-all knife. So to Shannon Hamilton, wonderful job. Awesome design, man. Absolutely nailed this. I'm looking forward to more designs coming from him to work tough gear. Always beautifully done. Thank you so much for providing this for review. A reminder that I do have the gear giveaway. So take a look in the description box below. And if you like this content, do me a favor. Take a look at my Outer Limitless 2 channel, which is more on the tactical and firearm side of things. At this point, that channel's growing quickly. I have a ton of videos up there. So if you like what you see here on Outer Limitless, Limitless, do me a favor and check me out on Outer Limitless too. So, all right, guys, thanks for stopping by. I hope you like what you saw. I hope you found it a little bit informative. If you like what you saw, please like, share, and subscribe. And as always, thanks for stopping by. Take care now. I'll see you soon.